Listener discretion is advised. Yo, this is the shit I've been bumping lately, dog. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Lavender's Corner. What's up, y'all? This is Lavender. If you like Twitch TV, check out Twitch TV slash Navar Impossible. Can I kick it? Can I kick it? What the fuck is this shit? This is anime, anime shit. Anime shit? No, nah, niggas. Is it? They use that as a background, but they streaming it. You be thinking about some anime fucking shit when you... No, nigga. I you turned off for this, this shit, dog. No, 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 nigga. This is lo-fi hip-hop, man. Even James the Barback fucks with this shit. So what's this song? Was it I Aso? Yeah. These are cats that actually make beats and they send it to these cats and they don't stream. Okay, so the group's name is Aso? Aso. The song's called Clarity Lane. Alright. This is what I be bumping all the time, man. I'm telling you, dog. Bump it's, got, that it's got a hard ass beat, though. Dog, bump that shit when you chill in the drinking, dog. That shit vibes with you, dog. And this is a live stream. They do this shit 24 7 every day. And they got other channels, too, besides this one. Hey, you can fuck to this shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm schooling y'all niggas on this shit, man. This is rap beat sample. Like, they grab samples from whatever song you like. Motherfuckers make this shit. I'm feeling this shit. Told you, man. This is good when you're all fucked up, yeah. Oh man, this some hot, this some good hot music. Welcome to Frazzleville. I am Mayor Frazzly. What is Frazzleville? On your left, you see the huge Frazzlecast. This building has been around since June of 2017. It is the centerpiece of Frazzleville. You never know who you will meet inside of the Frazzlecast building. On the right, the Frazzle Report. It is the latest source of information for World of Warcraft, and they are never afraid to report the news that no one else is willing to ever report on. Up ahead, the inspirational building, it is Be Great Today, and through it, inspiration you will hear stories it's amazing the services are, are always packed every sunday so get there early now this dilapidated building over here is the tony d zone if you go inside of there you don't know what you'll get and he can ramble so don't talk to him otherwise you won't be able to shut him up thank you all everybody have a great day They just get on, start streaming like they do Twitch TV. Yeah, they got one on Twitch called Relax Beats. Fuck. We need to get a hold of these people. Get them on the show. That's all they do. They just stream music all day. It's a whole bunch of channels that do this. Oh, yeah? That's called Joe Corfield Wildflower. Oh, so they're different people who just submit yeah. their stuff. Okay. Yeah. They don't promote their shit. Like, you can find these songs right now on YouTube right now. If you just type the artist name and that's all. I it's got this 32 milligram right there. That's that Red Bull right there. What you know about that, dog? Mmm. This toy is blood. Damn. This shit all his bird and shit. <laughs> Eat your butt off, Miles. <laughs> The only weird thing is like, it's raining. <laughs> I felt it too. I felt it too. Hell yeah. Right there, dog. Yeah, that's some vape music right there, dog. I ain't talking about buying a vape without no nicotine in it. I can just listen to this shit and just vape. Right there. But that's all I listen to for real, man. I'll be studying and shit, listening to this shit, man. I'll be vibing to this shit, dog. Mm. So what's new with you and the Twitch and everything? You still uh, twi- doing yeah, Twitch? I'll post you stream right now, man. I'm yeah. I mean, I and when you, you're leaving out of town again, right? Yeah, I can like do IRL and shit. This motherfucker leave out of town at least once every fucking two weeks. Yeah. I'm gonna go out of town again next week. Like, I'm fucking jealous. I've been out of town once back in 2013. Dodie, you just you stand at home? Like, fuck no! I'm going 
going to Chicago. Fuck no, I'm Actually, going to Atlanta. Actually, I think I gotta go to Chicago next week for Red Bull. Oh damn. Wait, so you're playing the tournament for Red Bull? Yeah, Red Bull got a tour for us. No oh, shit, that's awesome, man. See, relax, beats. I'm telling you, All right. these motherfuckers be on ESPN too now. Tell me. Oh, for the e games and everything, right? Nice. Oh, I gotta love the commercials for uh, Twitch yeah. TV. I'm gonna try to get partnership for Twitch. Are you already affiliated? Yeah, I've been affiliated. That's why I got sponsored. That's why I, I, I was saying. That's why I said I got a sub button. What's the What's the website? What's the What's the Twitch site? Twitch.tv. No, Twitch. give us the whole thing for the show. Hmm. Give us the whole address. Twitch.tv slash Jody. I'll text it to you. Why that's right. So fast. Twitch.tv slash Jody the Great. Twitch slash TV dash Jody the Great. No. Listen up, bitches. Give us the whole thing. Come on. Twitch.tv slash yeah. Jody the Great. J O D Y. That's it. T H A G R E. I thought it was like numbers and shit to it. No, man. I, I, I fixed it. So it's just Twitch TV slash Jody the Great. Yes, I will send it to your phone so you can even say it repeatedly over here. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to link it inside the show. Are uh, we doing a podcast already? Yeah, we have been. We've been doing it for the last 20 minutes. Yeah, so all that oh, shit man. you just said, I'll record it. Yeah, I'll send it to you. Uh, cool. I hope you edit that shit out. This is Dark Soul. I stream miscellaneous games on Twitch. You can find me at twitch.tv slash darksoul6875. Funny how the song comes all right. Smelly pussy. <laughs> God. Welcome to Lavender's Corner, the Smelly Pussy edition. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this beat is fucking sick, dude. Bastion, that nigga's legit as huh? fuck. He ain't coach you that shit. Yo, that shit. Man? Red Bull. I'm good, man. That Yo, shit hurts. I to this cat, Bastion. I'm try. Yeah, I hurt. I can't do vapes, man. Yeah, that's 13 milligrams, Captain. Fuck with this cat, Bastion, man. He got some good ass beats, dog. Captain. That's a lot. Initiate yourself. All those of you know, Jody the Great is the coach. I am the coach of the clique. I actually write the plays and make the plays happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta work off a little bit of heat. Like, if you need to talk... Fuck you. <laughs> Yo, let me make... Holy! Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me some red bull. Hold on, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta speak the game for him. All so right. I'm the coach. I make the plays happen. If you trying to talk to a chick, I can make a play for you. For real. Real talk. I'm not trying to make sure you trying to be a fuck buddy for her. I can do that, but you need to know the chick first to make a fuck buddy. So basically, you trying to give him the Hail Mary. Hey, no, nah, I won't give him no Hail Mary. They're going to fuck up. Well, you got to know these are real wide receivers. We don't want no fat motherfucker trying to run 90, 90 miles. Who's that Asian field. chick, dude? Did you see an Asian chick? Which Asian chick? I'm sorry, y'all, that my voice is gone, but yo, real talk. You can get an Asian chick, nigga, that's bonus round points, dog. You know what this sounds like? This reminds me of Ghost Dog, where the samurai, remember, you know, he's like still a car and he plays some fucking badass music. Yeah, this sounds like some legit <laughs> cowboy boot bebop. You remember cowboy bebop? Cowboy bebop, really? Yo, there's an anime right now that has that cowboy bebop feel. It's called Megalo oh, Box. Wow. So, y'all, this is some anime. Check out the anime called Megalo Box. I'm telling y'all, I'm recommending y'all some good shit. That's right. Telling yeah. even women watch this shit. If women don't watch it, she ain't the right one for you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hell I, yeah. Hey, uh, I need your phone. Let's you do this show up properly. That's all we do around I just here. Wanna, I just want to I just want to hit the internet real quick because I'm gonna You now gonna, tuning in to the millennia, miscellaneous podcast. Now, this is Lavender's Corner, baby. You got Lavender's, Lavender's Corner. Corner, you got the Captain Pauly, you got the coast Jody the Great. Jody the Great at Twitch TV slash Jody the Great dot com, baby. What's up, bitches? Mm. To stop time, click watch. Wow, she looks like a background character in a Hanna Barbera cartoon. Well, you guys want to do weird uh, headliners or ten questions? Let's do ten questions. You want to do ten questions? Alright. I'm gonna say, who's this 50 Cent, 21 questions? I keep forgetting to download this track, dog. This one, I fuck with Jin man. If y'all feel this shit, y'all should download this dude named Jin Sang, J I N S A N G. Jin Sang, like fucking what you take to yeah. get energy? Yo, this dude got some fucking beats, dog, for real. Alright. I hope everybody listens to this podcast, listens to the music. Man, man, you can beat some pussy up on this music. Man, you can tell the girl you sorry for fucking up cheating on another bitch and she's still fucking to the side, man. I'm just saying. Damn. 
I'll beat that pussy up. You like, this sound like uh, some Angie Stone. Uh, uh, and it's simple. How fucking dope is that shit? I ain't trying to fuck <laughs> Angie Stone. Nigga, you missed what I said, nigga. Pay attention. <laughs> I mean, first of all, Angie Stone wasn't even ugly, dog. She was ugly, but she was more than I could pick up. Hey, man, she's the soul brother of your ass, man. She like, you a good black man. You know what? You is right. You know what I'm saying? Next you know, she fine. Next you know, she can eat some head. Right. That girl, that aphrodisiac is on point. Right. Man. Angie Stone, she would have you going to fucking church after you just came from a strip club. That is Fuck. true. That is true. It's like, man, I gotta go confess some sins. Lord, she took care of me last night. <laughs> I got fucked up. Got my dick stuck at a strip club. Ain't nothing wrong with that, dog. I went home with my baby. She rubbed my stomach and said I was going to church in the morning. I said, I'm all right with that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, ain't nothing wrong with your dick stuck at a strip club, man. Sometimes you gotta have a wife, man. You had a hard day, your chick ain't talking about shit. Hey, look, I need you to do me a favor. I got you, Mike. That's what I'm talking about, girl. <laughs> so bad at this. The ball All is right. so whack. God dang, dude. What's the funniest name your girlfriend ever gave your member? The funniest name my girlfriend gave my member? Your dick. Um, <laughs> I would say she gave me Slong because I was big, but. She loaned it. She just pretty, pretty much loaned it because she was getting other dick. Man, if I saw that, man, I'm gonna fuck mama for me. Captain. Oh, damn. Mama comes kind of a slut. Oh, uh, yeah? She gave me one day, I'll fuck the dog. Uh, what do you consider question number nine? That was question number ten earlier. Question number nine. What do you feel is the most sexiest name for a girl? Cinnamon. That's no, good. <laughs> Bambi. Right. The most sexiest name for a girl of all time would probably be Mercedes. Huh? Huh? I think so. Mercedes. The sexiest name for a girl? It's between. Chicks like Trina and Trina, was she with Trick Daddy? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I bet you a fucker. You damn right. Okay, and I'll be going to the clinic afterwards. Trina, Shanti, and fucking uh What's another good slutty guy? Cardi B. <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> you might wanna fuck Thumper. Cardi B. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, Nicki Minaj, damn, just to end this shit. I'll fuck the Shanti, though. Fuck Cardi B took Nicki Minaj out the game. I don't care about them two dots, nigga. We don't. Like, I'll fuck the Shanti over the moment. You know, they say, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, why they doing all this fucking arguing? Hey, turn down a little bit. Oh, it's supposed to be background music, not fucking abrasive music. But all, all I'm saying is, like old, like old boys say, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, <laughs> why they doing all this arguing, you got fucking Taylor Swift singing Earth, Wind, and Fire. That shit ain't happening. What? It's just an embarrassment. Yes, it's a fucking embarrassment. My T Swift is singing some Earth, Wind, and Fire? Earth, Wind, and Fire. Hey. <coughs> That's horrible. It's very horrible. All right, question number eight. What is something that everyone looks stupid doing? Everyone looks stupid doing. Wearing skinny jeans. What? <laughs> That's true. That's so true. Wearing skinny jeans and sagging a whole fucking lot. What? Sagging looks That's... fucking stupid. Sagging just in general? I seen a guy sagging and he had a skin mark down his ass. Oh. He can't do that. Man, no. I ain't paying that close attention. <laughs> you, you can't help yourself. Motherfucker wearing white boxes and you sagging and you got a skin mark down your ass. No, bro. I'm sorry. Hey, man, when I see fat people try to wear some skinny jeans and a slim oh, and a t-shirt. Oh, that is my so God. funny. That's the most grossest shit in the world. That's like my AIDS God. on a chicken stick. <laughs> what the That's like fucking E-40 and Twister had a baby. <laughs> no, we're not trying to fucking look at that shit. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> it's like Andre 3000 trying to try to fuck Thumper, man. I don't, I don't Damn. Know. Question number seven. What is something that is really popular now... But in five years, everyone will look back and be like, damn, what the fuck did I just do? Go to a strip club. <laughs> no. I think that'll still be popular 20 years from now. 
I think everything that's popular right now that people um, will find kind of old five years from now, in my opinion. It's kind of like, you know, when you look back at the 90s and you see them like wearing like the, the rayon shirts and shit, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, that's not happening. Um, I don't know, I mean, look back at 2015, some of that shit's fucking, you know, rough looking. Today's generation fucked up right now. Honestly, I would probably say the females have them fucking bull ring fucking nose fucking piercings. Oh, yeah, the bull That's th- hot. Oh, it's bull hot. It's bull thot, nigga? It's hot. Hell yeah. It's hot. It's a bull thot, nigga. It's hot, but I have seen a girl, she pulled a bull ring on her nose with a booger. Ew. And that turned me completely the fuck off. Mm. So, I, no. Man, my dick won't get hauled out there. Exactly. <laughs> Never. Never will. Uh, in 40 years, what will people be nostalgic for? Number six. Fucking trans. What? <laughs> Trash? Trans. Fucking trans. Trans? Yeah. I'm telling you, these trannies. Dude, you gotta watch out now, man. Like, your dick is unsafe now these days. Dude. It is. It's because like you wanna talk to a girl at the same time. Next thing you find out, I forgot to tell you, I'm a trans. Fuck. And a lot of the trans are actually having the Bruce Jenner procedures done, and you won't be able to tell the difference until after they tell you. And then after that, you'll say, what the fuck did I just do? And she'll say, you just done a half man. Like, fuck. So, but your intuition was you were te- attending on fucking a, what, a woman. Damn. But you Mary found out she was a man. Mary Anderson from Night Court is dead. He did, yeah. He died. He did. Well, yeah, he died. He did. Yeah, did, did they say what the cause of death was yet? It's on Rolling Stones. I didn't read it. it Stevens posted it. Yeah, because they last time I looked at it, they said that he died. He was 65, but they said there was no foul play, but they found him dead. And yeah. also, I just found out the uh, drill sergeant from Full Metal Jacket, he died. Yeah, yeah. Complications yeah. of pneumonia. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that they actually brought him in for that movie just as a coach for the actual drill sergeant? That yeah, we're talking about movie. Full Metal Jacket. Yeah. yeah. But they realized that he was so good. They actually fired the original drill sergeant they had for the movie, the actor, and they put him in, and the rest was history. Kudos to him. He did a great job. I mean, he, he did play a couple of racist roles in the movie, in movies that, what? you know, yeah, really? he did. But yeah, he, racist. he he, he did a racist? great job. I'm just being silly. Well, like in the movie Life, he played a racist role in that oh, movie. Oh, I didn't see Life. Yeah. Oh, no, I did see Life, but Eddie Murphy, so long ago. Yeah. yeah. He was actually... He was racist in that one. Wow. Yeah, he yeah. actually came along in the last part of the movie when Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence went to go pick him up because the Wharton actually retired, but they wound up shooting him because he actually fucked Eddie, Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence over in the beginning. That's why they went to jail. So, next uh, number five who do you know that really reminds you of a character in a TV show or a movie who do I know who reminds me a character in a TV show or a movie I got it my great friend that's Spider-Man yeah Spider-Man go Spidey Spider-Man, Spider-Man. How can he act like Spider-Man? He act like Peter Parker. <laughs> <laughs> well, he act like Peter Parker in the dancing scene in Spider-Man 3. Oh, man, that's the only scene. It's kind of a, it's kind of a shitty budget moment. You know, that's anybody. Anybody could do that. That's like Greco could do that. Greco could be the star man for Batman and get his ass whooped and why the belly popping out. Pretty much. Pretty much. Jody, answer the question? I just did. Oh, Krakow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number I mean, four. Shit, oh. I mean, I'm like the coolest dude that could do probably multiple acting movies. I do you do look like Nickelodeon Batman. <laughs> like a Dark Knight. I what's mean, I could probably do a whole Damn. bunch of What's his name? Spawn guy? What was his name again? Michael J. White? Yeah. I could probably do a whole bunch of movies not if I take it really serious in acting. Mm-hmm. I'm just right now, I'm just like, not give a fuck. Because nobody want to take me serious unless I do a comedy show. Like, like, yeah, man, kick your grandma down some stairs. This shit hilarious as fuck. Wait, that's my grandma. Fag. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Question number five. There's four. Oh, fuck it, whatever. Um, what is to be a uh, um, uh, childhood movie that you were scared of? It. That's I not was, a childhood movie. It was a childhood movie. I, I was, guess it was. Yeah, I was, was when it came it. out, I was freaking ten years old. I was terrified of that clown. Yeah. But when I seen the actual movie... Just a few months ago, I wasn't scared at all. It wasn't the same. I'm no, it wasn't scary. Adult. 
Yeah, uh, as a kid, you have an imagination where you actually think a lot of shit is real and you have nightmares about it. But as an adult, as you grow up, you watch movies, you see the fucking uh, you know, trailers, then you see how the movies were made, and you realize they're full of shit, so they're not really as good as they were back in the day. Strip tease. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Boy, why did you fuck up the movie? I just want to see strippers and titties. Nah, I'm, nah, I'm just joking. Uh, the most fucked up movie would be for me. It was a s- one puppet movie. It wasn't a puppet master. I remember this little girl. She had a puppet protecting them. I'm bad. A puppet was protecting them. Yeah, it was some little clown-looking puppet protecting this little girl. Cause at the end of the movie, the parents became fucking dolls, dude. Ew, fucked up ass movie. That does sound. Dude, up. this movie's hella dark as fuck, dude. Wow. See my trolls. And then there was, and there was another movie where, <laughs> all right, so there was another movie, man. It fucked up. It fucked your mind up, like you think of hell. So it starts off that these four people are like in a cave with suits and they dressed up and they tell what happened and they remember like somehow they just know now they're dead if they told a story what happened really. Re, re, like recently in our past and then all of a sudden it's this guy in a cloak talking to them like in a hooded cloak like he a fucking monk but he's not a monk and he tells people to go through this fucking door and the dude looks through the door and he sees like fucking lava and he's like what is this and then you kind of catch the picture like is this supposed to be a movie about hell like these dudes just confess to what they did and all of a sudden they remember like they're dead like lava is this Shark Boy and Lava Girl? No, 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 no. I'm telling a real fucking horror movie. Like, these people, they had a jump in this room to go to hell. Wow. Like, you just wake up one day, you got a suitcase in your hand, y'all all meet up in a dark-ass cave room, and there's a dude in, like, in a dark robe saying, what did you do last? And everybody said what they did last. And all of a sudden, they, like, go through that door right there. And this guy was like, I got to jump down there. And he just jumps, and he just basically these motherfuckers in a weird ass purgatory, where they just went to hell, guaranteed. Wow, I'm like Damn. that's fucked up, and everybody else had to jump in there with them. I'm like I don't know what's worse, that or tales from the hood. <laughs> I was like, there was a movie when I was a kid. It was like real life war games, but it was like with twelve year old kids. And they, uh, went out, they went out in the woods and they actually had like real guns shooting at each oh, other. Oh, I know what movie you're talking about. Was it with Asian kids? No, 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 no. This was Asian, like back like in the 80s. Fun? No, no, there was a movie really. <laughs> no, there was a real movie where these kids, they're like in school and they all got abducted. And they all had detonators on their fucking neck. Whoa, this isn't like the movie I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Movie I was talking about like, <clears throat> they all went out to play war. Uh-huh. But then they brought real fucking guns. And, like, the kids would... They were dying. Fuck. And at the very end, the, the most I remember of it was very end, the one kid they thought died. And he's like, no, I got grazed in the ear. It was the weirdest, like, most fucked up situation. Yeah, like that's not like Morgan Freeman when he's a child. <laughs> what the fuck? I got, got grazed in the ear. I remember there was some book I read. They made a movie out of it, too. About the fly something, uh... It was a book. It's based off a book, and they made a movie off of where these kids was on a stranded island, and then they beaches. Killed, yeah. No, um, it had uh, Leonardo DiCaprio in it, wasn't it? No, no, no. no. It's Are old. you talking about like um, what was it? Uh, something of the Fly, Lord yeah. of the Fly, Lord of the Fly. Yeah, I actually watched that, that movie. movie. That's so old. I read, I read yeah. the book Good first. Movie, I read the book first, and then I watched the movie. Yeah, that was that's fucked up. All right, let's get to a little more happier thing. <clears throat> What set of items could you buy at a grocery store that make the cashier blush? Condoms. <laughs> That's number one, of course. They can either make her blush or make her be disgusted, but when you buy condoms, at least they let them know that you're you're trying yeah, to be. I had like something fucked up, like a hatchet and then a bag of con or a box of condoms. They're like, what yeah. the fuck? Or honestly <laughs> duct tape or something. Number one. I think the say, most random thing you can probably throw a girl off, they were like, Oh, I could really date this nigga if you had one single. If a man is man enough to buy tampons for his chick. Exactly. But what you tell her, I'm buying tampons for my little sister because she can't go to the store. So I have to buy these for her. <laughs> I don't know about that part. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, he's buying for his little sister. Oh, especially he's worried about like, family. Especially if you're like, looking like Biden doing it. <laughs> for my sister. Oh. <laughs> no, this is what you say. 
Yeah, I'm buying these for my girlfriend. You know, she already got a shitty ass fucking mood. I, I want to break up with her, but I'm trying to be nice and faithful to her. Oh yeah, that will just land you gotta the make, girl. You gotta make a story where, like, yeah, I'm with her. You know, she be having these attitude moments and all like that. I understand. You gotta be like, yeah, I understand. It's your time in the month. And you wonder why you're single. No, <laughs> no, I'm trying to tell you this. how you make a cool story. Next. <laughs> yeah, you're. you're gonna say, I'm fucking up here. I never done that. This is what happened when you drink a lot of Crown Apple. Nah, nigga, I'm sober as fuck right now. So shut the fuck up. Sober as fuck. I don't think so. You drink whiskey and piss. Shut the fuck up. Hey, I had some Jaeger and some fucking uh, a couple of fucking uh, blue bombs. And you still desert dick right now. I'd rather be desert dick than have a smelly pussy. I don't know, nigga. You should took one for the tinker. That's what I'm saying. You nigga, you was trying to get the push. You kept feeling on it so much. Desperate ass. Hey what? man, I regret Looking it. Looking ass. I regret it. <laughs> I what regret kind it. of cult would you like to start? What kind of cult I would like to start? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a, nigga, a nigga cult, nigga. How about that? Shit. <laughs> We're right. Colt 45 everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you got laying up Kyle Rizzi. Colt 45. Five. Right. Thunderbirds. Smooth, <laughs> Smooth MD 2020. Right. You got to have the other guy with that. What was that? I'm sorry. If you drink Mad Dog, you're gay. I'm just saying, man. Whoa, whoa. Mad yeah. Dog, that's a drink. Who the fuck drinks Mad Dog? We drink when That's like a high schooler okay, drink, Okay, it's man. 2018. You need to drink some manly drinks. Okay? I'm just saying. Zima? <laughs> that means you got cancer in your dick. Can I, mix a little, can I mix a little vodka and surge together? I'm just saying, man. I'm be real. You ain't drinking crown or crown apple. Did he say you gonna get cancer in a dick? Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> cancer in a dick? What the I'm fuck? I'm just saying, man. Oh man, that's some good ass Zima. And hey, man, my dick just turned white. Oh my god, I'm dying, man. Where these white blood cells come from, nigga? <laughs> <What? laughs> white white blood cells are supposed to be good, ain't they? Sometimes I don't what know, the- man. <laughs> Let me know. What's in that vape? <laughs> I don't know, man. You better Google white blood hey. cells. Just make sure we on the safe side, dog. I'm just saying. Damn. Like, God rest her soul, man. The doctor was talking about my grandma was some white blood cells in her body at the time when she was alive. And they made it sound like mysterious. Like, is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> I was kind of nervous for real. I mean, God rest her soul. I love my grandma. White grandma. blood cells supposed to be being good, I thought. I don't. If you have a low white blood cell count, that's not good. It was yeah. low. It was probably yeah. low. Yeah. White blood cells are supposed to attack and uh, so. help you out. All right, let's make a new color. If you got black blood cells, you're fucked. Yeah, yeah you got sickle <laughs> cell, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Sickle cell. You got met, sickle cells, nigga. I'm like, nigga. I met a guy when I used to work at the uh, hospital who had sickle cell, right? Dude, he looked like Bush with Bill, dude. Yo, he real talk, out all right, shit, yo, dude. I was like, yo, real talk, like, sickle cell is the most scariest shit to have, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Talk, yeah. And I got yeah, some partners that got that shit, man. Real talk. Well, my man. son actually has a sickle cell trait, so when he have kids, it's a fifty percent chance his kid gonna have sickle cell. I don't know this, but sickle cells actually normally your 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 cells actually are circular. Circular, they run through your bloodstreams pretty good. Sickle cell, they're actually shaped like sickles. Yeah, and they'll block you. And and they they'll run through your butts. They they run through your bloodstream, and they actually hurt. So the medicine you take. It's a coating medicine that it'll coat those sickle cell blood cells and it will actually make it flow through smoother. So if you forget your medicine for two days, that shit can damn near kill you. Damn. That's how my cousin Donald passed away. So it's actually, oh. it's, it's, a, it's an African-American disease. Uh, white people don't get it. So just like no. black people don't get, you know, lice, white people <laughs> don't get sick <laughs> So, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much. The I heard same in thing. Chicago they was making a cure to stop sickle cell, mm-hmm. and I think they did, but they never got it out there. Like yeah, that. anytime they make a cure for that shit, the fucking science is going to plane, and they want to the plane wound up crashing. Yeah, <laughs> Illuminati. The right. fuck? No, <laughs> we Dude, want you dive AIDS, okay? right? We trying to make money, nigga. You ain't being oh, cured. Magic dude. Johnson's cured of AIDS, right? Magic oh, Johnson's they, not cured. I do. He still has HIV, but he have expensive medicine. To prolong his life so he can live until a regular person. That's what happens when you have a lot of money. <laughs> is it me? Or let's just be real. I don't think that nigga got AIDS. He's just saying that to make money. Dog. No, well, he has has HIV. It. doesn't have AIDS yet. It's different. I don't think he has neither. HIV, you can still live with that shit for the rest of your life. Yeah, Charlie Sheen has HIV now. Charlie Sheen is a fuck. But when you turn into <laughs> full-blown AIDS, then that's when you're fucked. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty much like you can have the, the flu. But if that flu turns into pneumonia, you're pretty much fucked almost. 
<laughs> that sound like you. <laughs> is that me? Nah, this is uh, uh, some video. Clip. That sound like you, dude. Oh no, dude. In one sentence, how would you sum up the internet? Sum up the internet. In one sentence. Uh, jacking off without a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, porn saves everybody's life, man. Dude, I remember when uh, I was with my fiance back in Buffalo, and uh, we just got internet into the apartment, right? So, first thing I did, I'm looking at porn and shit. Fuck yeah. She was sleeping right next to me, and all of a sudden, she kind of like, she hears like, ah, puppy. <laughs> you know one thing about porn, porn can turn you into a fucking star. You can learn a lot of moves on porn, and you put the moves on the, on the same bitch. At first, she'd be like, what the fuck? Oh, what? oh, oh. It can make, you, make sure you have a little Viagra with it, though. The only weird... Viagra? What the fuck? <laughs> Hey, look, okay. <laughs> Who the fuck he was Viagra? telling me, dude, he was telling me, dude, just get some Viagra. Just, even though you don't need it, just do it anyway. I did. I got this, like, Rhino 5000 or some fuck. shit. I got a hustler glove. Holy shit, for three days? Damn! Yeah. Dude, yeah. I was just like, when you're in the mood, it was like, Argh. Dude, if you want to make a chick <laughs> slutty, take her to Hustle Hollywood. All her fucking imaginary dreams come true in that motherfucker, dude. He was like, damn, you was a slut for real. You trying to hide this shit on me? Dude, I'm oh, you you know what? My best thing is like when you take him up to Hustler and have him try on everything. Man. And then like the other dudes are all like, you, you can go in the dressing room if you want. I'm like, fuck yeah! <laughs> dude, when they buy a fucking sucker penis, that's just, you know, they love you in the head. A fuck sucker yeah. penis? Dude. Wow. I kid you not, most of dog. All right, how would you sum up the internet in one sentence? The internet in one sentence or one word? <laughs> Pornhub, no. <laughs> Pretty much. X videos, nigga. <laughs> X you know what's messed up? You want X videos too? Not my nigga. My nigga, you are. Think my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Going in. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, that would be on there. If I'm on there, nigga, I'm going to make sure I fuck every bitch I know, dog. <laughs> the internet in one Bitch, se- you coming with me too. We on, we on X video. The internet in one sentence is Donald Trump, get the fuck off Twitter. Tell her we made, I mean, she, like she would made it home. Mm. You know, you do hold and you breathe through one and you hold it and then you exhale through the other and you keep going keep going and you keep going it is very relaxing have you tried that when i see people die the most weird i'm like man they got caught up with that illuminati shit <laughs> like prince what prince that what prince is gone i, haven't, I know he's dead but i mean i don't know what oh, you're talking on, about that's weird how he died like do that make sense like if you read about his death did that make sense he overdosed on painkillers just like michael jackson right some hardcore shit did you think he was that fucked up to go overdose on painkillers well they did say that like his hips and everything was just Same gone thing from michael dancing. jackson michael jackson was murdered yeah wait the doctor killed him tropinol is what he was taking right no the doctor killed him yeah, but was it accidental? No, it was on purpose. He what? How's the purpose? They said they replayed the they replayed the tapes and everything. Yeah, they Maybe replayed the tapes and everything. Huh? Me and my baby? No. Because oh, Latoya man. Jackson Say was so. saying that Michael Jackson died of murder. Man, Latoya Jackson, fuck that. No, nah, man. Bitch. Everybody, everybody so believes that. It's just that like shit. Michael Jackson. You can just take his stuff. Even though she was crazy as fuck, that dude Michael Jackson got murdered. Look, he died at a young age too. Michael Jackson was a weird motherfucker. He was a weird motherfucker, but at the same time, he he got murdered, dog. They wanted him out of the picture. You don't climb trees. <laughs> I mean, I still I'm still tripping off that Charlie Murphy gone. I still hard to believe that shit. Oh yeah, last thing. But he got leukemia though, didn't he? Charlie Murphy. I think he was lupus. I think. Yeah, some kind of like just it was cancer shitty like, thing. Yeah. Well, lupus is a it's a bone disease that actually eventually turns into cancer, and uh-huh. it's pretty much no turning back. Yeah, like diabetes, once you get it, you got it. Yeah. Real quick, what is this YouTube channel we've been watching again? Uh, lo- Just type in Lo-Fi Hip Hop, L-O-F-I. And there's just hip-hop. a bunch of them? Yeah, dude, right. like, real talk. All right. Lavender, where can we find you? You can uh, find Lavender on the Miscellaneous Podcast Facebook page, and also you can find them at Lavender on the Miscellaneous Google Play page. So check it out. If y'all want to find me, mostly, I'm on Facebook, Jody, Jody the Great Woods, Twitter, at Jody the Great, YouTube, Jody the Great, Twitch.tv, Jody the Great. That's easy, I like that. 
What the fuck? This is Basadi Donuts. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Donuts at Corporal K. I appreciate all the followers on Twitter, for real, because, you know, I'm FGC now. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for listening to Live in this Corner. We appreciate y'all. General, you got anything you want to say, Mr. Pauly? It's yeah. Captain, nigga. Um, thank you, everybody, for listening. Uh, check out the Summoning Stone Gaming Show. You can find it on Summoning Stone Gaming YouTube channel. Check out the Miscellaneous Podcast. Check out the Summoning Stone Podcast as well. You can find us on any platform, pretty much. For any questions, comments, or anything, email us at miscellaneouspodcast17 at gmail.com. And if you want to subscribe to this dick. <laughs>